Hey guys, today I'm going to go over a flea market haul and let me tell you how it works. So there is a vendor, he sells these boxes, I believe it's 500 to 1000 cards a box. Not every single box is full and he sells these long boxes, sometimes they come in different shapes but normally they're about this size and he sells them at the flea market for around $12.50 a box. I worked out a deal with him. I bought 25 of these boxes. You don't know what's in them. That's the key. He has probably over 400,000 magic cards. So for him, he just gives you, hands you a box and you see what's in it. This is the best box I got. So I'm not going to say every box is like this. I'm actually you know, going to show you all 25 of the boxes. If you like the series, it does take a long time to upload. So there is that. And I'll show you what I got from each of the boxes. So this is the first box. Every single card in this box is Legends or Odor. So we have Legends, more Legends, Primary, Primordial Ooze. I think that's a rare. Uh, they took out the large majority of the cards that are valuable. But for me, playing with friends. So what my friends have decided to do, instead of like opening... Uh, what we typically do is we open a box, but that can get kind of expensive even now. We open a box, 36 packs. Now we just open this. So everyone goes out, buys, well, I bought it because I bought it in bulk. So I bought 25 of these for $10 a piece. Not all of them are, are full. So I don't want, oh, look at all these giant turtles. And what we do now is we go ahead I'll buy the box. Let's say there's six people. We will, all six people choose a different box. Rust, oh, artifact, counter target artifact effect, which must require an activation cost. Interrupt. I love, I love this. Uh, you just don't see this old school stuff anymore. And the boxes can go all the way to modern. I'm going to show you a box later this week. This was probably the coolest thing in a box. This is a near mint rules to legend, how to play legends. I mean, when do you have the opportunity to buy something like that? It's just crazy. I don't know if I showed you this pile. Oh, this is two piles. But all the cards are legends or odor. I mean, I think there's a few that are not legends and they're all near mint. They're probably all gradable. Flash counter. I think we have some flash floods here, which is pretty good. Remove soul. If for your ED8 deck, if you want that. Uh, Venerian Gold, Wall of Vapor, one of my favorite cards growing up. And it's just fun because you don't know what it is and so cheap. So imagine like going out to a bar, that's like a drink, two drinks, you'll be way over $10 on your bar tab, especially with tip. So instead of doing that, we just get some beers at home where people can pass out. I have a sleeping bag. I have multiple guest room upstairs. I have four guest rooms upstairs. Free, no, free guest rooms. Wall of Shadows, one of my favorite cards. So, I, oh, what is this? Night, Night Stalker. Okay. Ghost of the Dam. Like these, even the titles are just a lot more fun than it used to be. So, there, this vendor is in around Houston. I think he's just like in Houston. Just, this used to be rated the worst card in Magic the Gathering. I remember that. And then some more, a little bit more value. As you can see, we have a. Marshall L Dragon and we have a stank. A snag? A stag? But anyway, this card used to be a popular commander. I, I think it's still pricey today, unless I'm mis uh, counting that. Mis -rem remembering which one is pricey. And it's just so much fun. For 12 bucks, ten dollars, because I bought 25 of them. So if you buy 20 or more, they just become $10, which is a huge discount savings. None of these cards are by themselves worth $10, but as a whole collection, I thought that was White Knight. It probably took out the White Knights. No, from beta. Oh, White Knights are from beta. That's why they're not in the set. This is the Legend set. So it is possible that you could buy one of these and randomly there could be... Look at, look at this stuff. Like it's stuff that you, you can't even make this stuff up. One of the most beautiful cards, artworks, and now I have enough to make like a poster of it. And that's what we do. Um, we have been doing that for a while. We go to the flea market, we'll grab a few boxes, and then six people will go ahead and just pick a random box. I don't know what's in the box either. I just take them from the flea markets. Artifacts. 
it's just totally right. Oh, Dragon Engine, when it used to be, it was a common, and I feel like they made it a rare. You don't typically see a jump like that. And let's finish the rest of, oh, Artifacts, and then Black Card. So more Artifacts, um, it's like duplicates. The guy owns so much of this. He owns multiple sets of Power 9, and it's just on display. And these are just his random commons and bulk, if you will. But some of his bulk is very good. I will show you another booster box where it's just on commons from Urza's Legacy, which is fine for $10 if you get a box of uncommons. Here is some um, some older cards. Can't make out the symbol. Can't. It's a black symbol. And yeah, down they go. Priest of Yagma. Uh, tap to add a amount of black mana to target artifacts casting cost equal to your mana pool. The tap to add a black mana equal to target artifact casting cost to your mana pool. The effect is placed to interrupt. Target artifact which must belong to you is discarded. Okay, so it's like a ritual sacrifice. It's not that great. Oh, this is Antiquities. One of the uh, take any number of artifacts of your choice from target player's graveyard and place them on top of that player's library in any order. That's gotta be kind of good, right? Like, I would be surprised if this card wasn't worth like 25 cents. Sage, lots of sages, okay. Pixies, tons of pixies. Imagine how much product this guy opened to have this many commons crumble and how much power nine and dual lands. He owns probably closer to 400 dual lands when I was at his booth. And he's just like a flea market vendor that he doesn't come every day. He just comes like Saturdays. Artifact Blast, counter any artifact as it's being cast from red. A Tog, oh man, this is a beautiful A Tog. The original A Tog. Uh, Goblin Artisans. Wow, it's crazy. Blacksmith. Is there anything good in white? Artifact. Target creature cannot be blocked by a artifact. Tons of those. Reverse. Polarity. Yeah, so that's what I got in the first box. It was a lot of fun just opening it. Uh, and I every week I would say we play some but it's just like a random amount of people we will play with these random boxes and it's instead of buying fat packs or booster boxes we buy these now because A is cheaper and B the cards are way better than anything you can pull out of a box so individually none of this is worth ten dollars but I'm pretty sure combined it's way worth way more than ten dollars and as a random stuff that you don't even know what set you're getting really fun to do anyway way bye guys